Hi everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week I have a split in four ways maple log that I'm trying to rescue and make a vase. So here I'm using tuck tape or sheathing tape. I'll have a link in the video description uh, for that and I'm going to be pouring resin into the cracks and as you can see I think from uh, the video that uh, the cracks are really really deep and go pretty far through the log. So this means I'll be using a lot of resin, more than it looks like I'd be using anyway. Not necessarily a lot, but a lot for filling cracks. So using Total Boat 2 to 1. Thanks Total Boat. Uh, I do have a discount code for Total Boat if you want to check it out in the video description. If you haven't used Total Boat, uh, it is really easy to use and fantastic results. So please do check it out and support companies that support makers. Total Boat is definitely a supporter. So using eye candy, this color is called Magma Magenta. new to me color. I haven't tried this one yet, but it looked pretty, pretty interesting. So I'm going to give it a go. So at first, uh, just kind of dripping it into the cracks. You don't want to fill these cracks too fast because it'll create bubbles and air pockets and it, uh, it won't fill the voids enough to be able to turn it. So this took quite a while actually. You never know with those cracks how far sideways or uh, they go. So usually have to uh, get the air pockets out of there with like a popsicle stick and then pour more, etc. So fighting with the tuck tape here, obviously it, it does stick and work. No leaks whatsoever. Just a pain to kind of remove. At this point I gave up and I left some on and I'm just uh, putting the faceplate on and I'll be turning off the rest of the tape. Starting with the Carter and Son 5/8 uh, uh, U-shaped bowl gouge, which is usually my go-to. I love it. Link in the description if you want to check one out for yourself. The lathe is at about 600 RPM at this point. Clearly, it's way out of balance, which is expected, and just trying to uh, bring it into true and balance it up. Switching now to this tool, which is a tool by Jimmy Clues. And this is the hollowing mate tool, I think it's called. And even though this is not hollowing here, it does remove a lot of material pretty fast. So I use this for a little bit until it gets, gets a little bit more balanced. And uh, then I'll switch back to, to the bow gouge.
Back to the bulb gouge at this point, you can see it, that the, the log itself is much more in balance. This is at around 900 RPM. Starting to shape the vase a little bit. It's not completely in balance, but it is getting there. There's that void there that uh, I still have to turn away. Seeing how out of balance it is there with uh, resting the, the gouge on top. And it, I don't know if you could see from the top down, but there still was a little bit of bounce. Not a lot, but enough that that void does make it uh, out of balance still. Switching now to filling uh, some voids. I mentioned the air pockets earlier with, that can happen with the resin. Uh, this is one small air pocket that uh, it really just wasn't gonna fill with resin. This was, it, was, it was a small one and I didn't wanna turn off any more material because I wanted to leave the, the vase as, as large as possible. So a little bit of star bond and accelerator and uh, works great. Also a discount code for Starbond if you want to check them out in the video description. Save yourself a little bit of money. Moving on to making the tenon now with the uh, skew chisel. And then some final passes for the shape of the vase here. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already, free to subscribe and uh, release a new video every week. Make sure to hit that bell icon to be notified when we upload a new project so you don't miss any of the fun stuff we do on this channel. You see those shavings, it looks like a, a baby shower or gender reveal. All that pink. And when I say all that pink, I mean all that pink everywhere. And this is even with dust collection and the air filter. Two air filters actually. Starting the sanding process. I sanded from 80 grit up to 400 grit on this one. Now using a Forstner bit to start the hollowing process. As you can see on this one, it started to uh, burn a little. I think the, the Forstner bit wasn't very sharp, so went to a smaller one first, which worked a lot better, and then just worked my way uh, down with uh, that one, and then a slightly larger one. This is not the same one as I started with, but clearly it works much better. 
So starting with the uh, Jimmy Clues Mate tool again. Again, this is made for hollowing and it is a beast of a tool. Uh, so I use this, mostly this, for, for hollowing. Works really great. working on the rim here there was a little area at the top I don't know if you noticed it before but uh, that the resin didn't uh, come up to and uh, so I I did have a second pour of resin off camera and then I just had to turn a little bit uh, a little bit off there which was expected so with inside I start at 60 and uh, sand up to 320 after sanding, uh, using some denatured alcohol to clean the surface of any dust. And then I will start the uh, sealing process. I use the uh, Zinsers brand of sealer and I mix it with denatured alcohol. 70-30. 70 sealer, 30 denatured alcohol. And after that has a chance to dry, use a scotch bright pad to denib it. And then I will start the finishing process with the Axe products. This is the Axe abrasive paste, sanding paste. If you haven't tried it, uh, this is a great chance to try it uh, with a discount code of 15% at axewoodpaste.com. It is as easy as it looks here. and it's quick. Some finishers you have to wait hours or even days. This gives a great result in a matter of minutes. This is the uh, second step of the axe and this is the polishing paste. So go check them out. Support the companies that support the makers. Thank you, Axe. As you can see, it gives a great sheen. Taking it off the lathe here, I'm gonna give you a little bit of a close up. Still have to turn the uh, tenon off or take it off. And I know that I say this every time, but this maple had amazing grain. Had lots of areas of dark and light, which made a very interesting uh, pattern. And here is the finished vase. I really like how this one turned out. Let me know what you think down in the comments. Be sure to leave a like. And again, don't forget to subscribe. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next week, peace out.